Hello all, welcome to Nourish Technologies. So we are done with services. Let us discuss about how we can able to make AJAX calls in AngularJS. So when it comes to AJAX, directly or indirectly, we need to interact with XML, HTTP, request, object. This is basic JavaScript object. So um, I mean, we have a wrapper object on top of this in jQuery and the similar way we have a wrapper object on top of this XML HTTP request in Angular also that is dollar HTTP. Using this dollar HTTP, we can able to make any kind of AJAX request from client to the server, okay. The AJAX methods we have something like in Angular, the HTTP methods we can use like get, post, put, delete and HTTP itself we can able to make as uh, uh, a kind of uh, customized AJAX request and we can put a request to the server, okay. Those things we will see and the last one is JSON. -P. These are the methods we have uh, in AngularJS AJAX, okay. First let us start with get, slowly we will go through the other things get. So, we can use the get method like dollar http dot get we need to pass the URL to which component you want to make request and config. Config is an optional object. Uh, so, if you want to put some kind of customized uh, header information or any other details you can able to use this config okay. And once you are done with that you can able to make use of uh, uh, then Okay, where to the then we need to pass resolver comma reject. Okay, so this particular resolver and reject are the callback methods. Uh, I mean, if we if the request is successfully processed by the server and we are getting a response successfully, then the resolver is going to be executed. And if the request, I mean, if that particular request is uh, went wrong, I mean, something is went wrong between client and server, it may be related to. 400 or 500 something like that then the reject is going to be executed okay before uh, i mean up to 1.4 we have something like success callback like this at the same time we have error also okay these particular uh, callbacks are uh, deprecated uh, from 1.5 onwards so we can't able to make use this particular success and error uh, anymore uh, from 1.5 so uh, we need to stick with then only okay this is something like promise pattern so it is best way to use uh, i mean uh, then uh, to make that particular request i mean whatever the response we are getting no that particular response to process that it is better to use then method okay so this is the signature uh, which we can use to uh, make a AJAX request using dollar HTTP service, okay. So, let us see how we could able to make interaction with uh, some kind of JSON file to get some static data through this get method, okay. So, assume this is the uh, JSON file we need to interact from our uh, uh, Angular client, okay. So, let me copy this save as angular create a folder called data and in that put the file as student.json okay there we go now we need to interact this particular file okay using get method from our angular application so let us create our angular application save it get back make it as angular hyphen http hyphen get okay so far we did something like we just implemented the user interface first then we just implemented the angular implementation but now we will do in a reverse order let us first import angular framework script src is equals to node underscore modules slash angular slash angular dot js create a module angular dot module make it as something like AJAX app anything you can name I am just providing it as AJAX app and the dollar HTTP is a core service I mean one of the service available in core module itself so we do not require to uh, make any dependencies for our AJAX application okay now create a controller 
it as my CTRL anything you can name function inject dollar scope now so how the dollar scope is there in the similar fashion uh, we just created some services like the other services dollar http is also a kind of service which we need to inject into our controller like this okay now so let us uh, illustrate the example here so we need to get a json array of data which contains uh, uh, some json objects okay this particular data we need to populate in our ui okay so first let us what we will do is let us create a empty json array students is equals to empty array there we go okay now on a button click assume that we need to interact to that particular students dot json file okay so for that create a function dollar scope dot get students equals to function use dollar http dot get first we need to provide the url okay so from uh, okay let us go back to my view i mean my folder structure so you can see here i have my application in uh, ui in angular i have my application called angular iphen http dot get this one okay Parallelly, I have a data folder. Inside the data folder, I have the student.json. So, I can use a relative path over there. So, let me put the URL something like where URL is equals to data slash student.json. Okay. Now, pass the URL. Okay. And it is a plain method. I am just retrieving all the data from a static JSON file. So, uh, we do not require to pass any kind of data over there. Okay. So, and I don't mean I don't require any kind of uh, customization uh, header details also. Okay, so no config is also there. Okay, now use dot then. <coughs> okay, for dot then the first one is function is called resolver, where a resolver will injected with a payload. Okay, where a payload contains uh, different kinds of uh, data, something like uh, data, status text, uh, status code. Okay. Um, any customized objects if you send those objects okay everything will be there inside this particular payload only okay then function okay misses you okay in this way we could able to pass the first one the first function we will call it as resolver the second function we will call it as reject okay the resolver will get executed if if the request is successfully processed and uh, we got the response at the client and the reject is going to be called when something is went wrong at the server side okay in between client and server interaction it may be uh, other than if it is 200 or 300 uh, we make we uh, this particular reject is going to be executed based on the status code if it is 200 or th something like uh, 300 uh, then resolver is going to be executed okay let us put the code here so our requirement is uh, whatever the scope dot students okay to this whatever the response we got the response we will get using payload dot data the data is the response which is provided by the server understand no now and the message is just put something like alert sorry we have an issue with Zax. okay something so, if anything is went wrong, we will get the alert. If everything is went fine, we will get that particular data and we are assigning it to the students. Okay. Now, let us bind all these things into our view. Okay. As usual, the first thing we need to bind is module. That for that, we can use ngifn app. The module we just created is Ajax app. Done. Now, bind a controller, ngifn controller equals to my CTRL. Done okay the first thing we need to do is create a button because on button click only we need to get the data using the get method of ajax so button ng and click is equals to get students give a label get students okay now create a table just make a table view so that uh, we can able to see it uh, in a good way and provide border is equals to one 
Now, you can see there uh, for each object we have three properties name, roll number and percentage. Okay. So, the table should contain minimum three columns. So, create table row th say that roll number th give name th percentage. Okay. Now, whatever the data we got populate the data here. Okay. So, I hope we you remember that uh, when we have a kind of array the data we can able to repeat and show in our view using ng ifn repeat. So, provide ng ifn repeat here equals to the data we need to repeat is students where from this particular JSON array we need to get one by one objects and put it into some variable something like make it as s, s in students. Okay. Now, how many objects is there inside the students all those objects will be iterated and one by one object is going to be assigned. So, now we can able to get that particular data from s like this s dot the first property is roll number. Okay. Now, the second one s dot name and the third one percentage. Okay. So, if everything is fine, uh, when we are trying to execute, well, the, our application will interact with uh, student.json, it will get the data and we are assigning the data to the students array and the data we are repeating and populating in our view on a button click. Let us execute this. Okay. Now, initially when we are trying to execute in Chrome, I am trying here, we will get an error. Okay. Sorry, we have an issue in SX. Okay. It is because most of the browsers uh, when we are trying to run the Zax related operations okay, using file protocol, okay, they would not allow you to create that particular object XML HTTP request object due to security issues. Okay. So, what we need to do is run our Zax related applications using HTTP or HTTPS protocol. Okay. Let us see the error information. So, when we are looking at here, it is saying that XML HTTP request cannot load that particular student.json using file protocol. Crossers and requests are only supported for protocol, uh, I mean schemes like HTTP, data, Chrome, Chrome extension or HTTPS. Okay? So, either we need to run the application using HTTP or we need to run the application using HTTPS. Okay? But you are not interested in any of these things and still you want to run the application, then we have an option that you could able to run the application in Firefox. Okay? Firefox uh, probably it will omit. Uh, okay? So, Firefox uh, will uh, let you create that particular um, object of XML HTTP even though you are making request using um, I mean file protocol. Okay, let us see here get students. Okay, there we go. But here we are not getting the percentage might be we have an issue with. Uh, so, we just provided percentage, but it should be s dot percentage. Okay. Now, reload the application get students. Now, there we go. So, all the data is populating here. Okay. So, in this way we can able to uh, make a Zax request from our client to the server. Okay. But if you are willing to run the application either in Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, then mandatorily we need to run the application using HTTP or HTTPS. That means, the application should be deployed in a server. Through the server, we need to access the application. Okay. Uh, what I will do is, so let me run the application using a lightweight server called HTTP server. Okay. HTTP iPhone server, see iPhone 1, there we go. Okay, so, uh, the application is running on 8080 port on my local host. Now, let us go there local host colon 8080. Okay. You can use, I am using here HTTP server, but it is not mandatory to use HTTP server only. You can use any web server, something like I, uh, Stormcat, Apache, anything you can use based on available servers. Okay. Now, click on this particular get students. There we go. We can able to get the data. Okay. So, in this way, we can able to make a Zax request 
from uh, your AngularJS application using HTTP service and get method and we can able to retrieve the static JSON data into your client, okay. Hope you understood this concept. Thank you. Thank you.